there everyone, this is Mr. Got One in the Kitchen again, and we're, today we're going to make something called walking tacos, okay? So what you'll need, some ground beef, taco seasoning, your choice of Doritos, Cool Ranch and Nacho Cheese, or some Fritos, alright? Taco sauce, a little bit of lettuce, Mexican style cheese, shredded of course, and a some sour cream. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the pot on the stove and I'm going to kind of put the meat in, alright? So let's go from there. Let's see if I can, so you can see me. Alrighty, here we go. I'm just going to put the meat right in there. I'm going to cook it first and then put the taco seasoning in, okay? So I'm going to get my wooden spoon to do this. Right here. Let me try to move the camera a little bit closer so you can see me. A little better. There we are. There we are. I want to make sure it's nice and cooked through. All right. Once I do that, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're still cooking here. It's been about a couple minutes. My stove is on medium heat. Okay, so I don't want to burn anything. It's almost done, as you can see. It's turning that kind of brownish color, right? So just give it another, another like 30 seconds. This should take about two to three minutes, alright? Turn the vent fan off so you can hear me a little better. I have the vent fan on so, you know, the smoke alarm doesn't go off. But if you didn't hear me, this takes about two to three minutes. Okay, and now it's pretty much almost golden brown, and, or just brown. And what we're gonna do is put in the taco seasoning. And that's pretty much it. Give another little, another little stir. All right, make sure it's cooked all the way through. Now you can't test this one with a thermometer, really. But such thin pieces of meat that odds are it's cooked all the way through after about two to three minutes on medium heat in a pan. Okay? Or in a pot. Whatever you choose. I choose the pot just because it's easier just to stir it. Alright, so now I'm going to turn it down to me or to low and turn, put in a little bit of the taco seasoning. Just a little bit for now. I didn't use too much meat, so you may not need all of it. The amount of meat you use is up to you. But I used about a cup and a half of ground beef, okay? Just mix it around. Looks like I might need a little more, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in there. A little bit more here. Yeah, that should be good enough. And once this is done, you'll be good to go to start making your walking taco, okay? Alright everybody, so my uh, ground beef is completely done and cooked through. It takes about three minutes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my... Let's do the Cool Ranch Doritos, alright? So I'll kind of put you here. And I'll show you how this works, alright? So I'm open it up. And you can crunch, crunch them a little bit. Just go like a nice crunch. Crunch! Alright, nice crunch there. Alright, so now they're all... You can see, as you can see in there. They're not too big anymore, okay? So what I like to do is put the lettuce in first. Just grab it with your hand. Put it in there first. Right. Lettuce in there first. I put all the other ingredients in first <clears throat> besides the ground beef. So I'm going to put in a little bit of cheese. Let's say a nice little pinch like this will do you. Right. Into the bag of chips. It goes. Okay. Now, make sure your sour cream is mixed. Put that in there as well. Just a little bit. Nice big spoonful like this, right? Just put it in the bag. Right. And if you like a little bit of taco sauce, that's good too. I just put like a little tiny bit. Let's take this off. I just put like a little tiny pour. Just a little pour here. A little pour, that's it. Now, oops, the best part. 
the meat is going in. Alright, so let's get ready. Alrighty, so let me get a spoonful. So I'm gonna get a spoon from the drawer and get the meat in there. There we are. Look at this. The meat goes in there. I'm gonna put two spoonfuls in there, okay? And you can use the same spoon to eat your walking taco. That's a little hot. Now the fun part. So you go up like this, and like this, and go like this, right? And shake it up. Alright, now you have your perfect walking taco in a bag. Alright, put more meat in if you want, put more anything in if you want, but that's basically how to do it. See you later, have a good day.